Today I'm going to review my new photo book from Sal Digital. Um, I'm a gig photographer. Every year I go to about 100, 150 to 200 gigs. And the last few years I've started to produce just an archive copy for myself. Uh, 40, 50 pages of um, the best photographs or the most um, exciting gigs of the year. And I put them into a book just so that I can refer back to them. And also it's just that I've got something in print. So usually I use Mixbook. So this is last year's, but I came across an offer from Sal Digital to um, a £100 voucher to give their professional line a test. And as 2020 has kind of finished early, it's very unlikely to see many more gigs this year. I thought I'd take the opportunity to produce my yearbook. And it's a great opportunity to test Sal Digital, see what they offer, see the differences between um, what I've used in the past and their professional eye. In the review, so here's the book that I produced this year. Uh, only been to 30 gigs this year, so it's basically a photograph from almost every gig. It's 40 pages long. So what are the main differences and what do I like about this? Well, as you can probably see, the, there's a big pop about the front cover. And that's because Sal Digital's books um, have an acrylic cover. It costs extra, but it's part of the professional eye. And that really does add a real pop to, and an impact to the cover. So it's something I would definitely consider using in future if I was producing something for, um, say, a, a wedding, or I was producing it for um, a special event. I'm not sure I'd use it for my own. I think it's it it adds quite a lot to the cost, but it does um, look really good. Likewise, uh, it comes with um, a leather back really like this just feels a lovely feel to it just feels that little bit more special the mix book that i showed here this is pretty much a, a cardboard book wrapped this though feels the bee's knees um so i'll take you through the main points that i've found uh, some of the things i like some things i don't like I will take you through how to create the book and give you my overall impressions. So let's get started. As I said, the first thing you notice is the quality of the acrylic cover. It just adds a special pop. It adds a weight to the book as well. So when you hold it, you do feel like you're getting something um, special. It is a few millimeters thick and it it covers the initial photograph you selected. It's then bound in to the cover and, and into, the, into the book really well. I was concerned that it being heavy and um, thick, that it might really feel right on the front of the book and it might feel flimsy. No, it, it feels really good. The other thing that feels really good is the pages. Um, the paper itself, is a heavier duty paper than I'm used to with mixed book. I've also gone for the matte finish and it has a real weight to it, a real quality, a really good quality um, product. The image quality is excellent. It's difficult with gig photographs because obviously the, the photographs are taken under stage lighting. So it's difficult for me to compare natural scenes to the, how accurate it is. However, what I would say is they're accurate compared to what they look like on the screen. And that's all I can ask for. Um, I found that even with some of the low resolution photographs that I tried on here on purpose, the quality still come out really good. So for example, I will um, just find it. So there's a shot here. This shot here, and I'll hopefully show a close up. This shot was a cropped version of um, an artist who was playing something and I was a, quite a distance away. So I've cropped it to get the nice bokeh in the background, and it works really well on the screen. And I thought I'll give it a try, see what it looks like here. The resolution was sufficient, and, and one thing I, uh, I like about Sal Digital's um, tool that they use to do. To, to build the book, it tells you if you think the photograph is going to be too low resolution. The 
Other thing I found is um, the pages feel like they aren't going to come free. So often when the pages are heavy in some of these books, the way they're glued into the, the spine, sometimes it feels like they might come free at some point. These don't. So that's really good. One thing I don't like, and I'm being honest here, is previously when I've used mixed book, you don't put any white pages at the front. They add some extra white pages. So you open the book, the back of the cover is white, the next page is white, then you start your book. And I like that approach. The Sal Digital, on the other hand, put the first page directly onto the back of the cover. I'm not keen on that. And when I use them next time, I will pay for the extra white pages. It's a pity that you, you would be paying for something that's blank, but it's the it's how I prefer the book. Right? Back page, on the other hand, it feels and looks okay being um, um, glued onto the, the, the back of the book. However, the front page, I do prefer some white pages leading in. If I go on to how easy it is to use and how to build, Sal Digital provides um, a digital tool for Mac, PC and iPad. Now you can download from the website or from the app stores. Once it's installed, it's a very simple tool. It allows you to select the product. In this case, it's the professional line. You then um, have a selection of templates. So there's wedding layouts and you know different occasions. You can then choose page layouts. So it comes up with sets of templates for how you want a page. So a clear page with some descriptions with a photograph next to it, depending on the type you're doing. So if you're doing like landscape photography, that's probably a good layout for that. Um, in my case, I decided to, because I'm doing full page images, I just built my own pages and just copied and, and pasted them up to the 46 pages I think it is I've, I've gone for. You then import your images and just drag and put the images into um, each image block. Really easy to use. However, I would say um, I tend to build the pages and then move them around and I didn't feel it was easy doing that bit. So I, I often will choose like a colour range rather than say maybe, maybe being in chronological order. I'll put images together that suit each other and then maybe go through a, a, a dark set, set of photographs into a colour set of photographs into black and white photographs. Uh, that I, I couldn't do that easily with this so it, it pretty much had to rebuild it to the to the order I wanted. Other than that, tools are easy to use. As I mentioned, you as soon as you put your photograph in, it will tell you whether it's appropriate or not, which was really good, and really helpful. Um, you can then just order through the application. In my personal preference would have been to use the website, but I was I tested the whole tool. I prefer to know that the the act I'm doing is secure, and all the steps are secure. But it was really easy to use. Once that was complete, I got an email very quickly to say um, it's, it was ready, uh, or rather it was, the order was getting processed. Yeah, I think it was th three or four days later the book was printed and then it was shipped by DHL from Germany to the UK. Previously with Mixbook, it's taken longer to print and it shipped from America and it, that took longer as well. Overall, I think it's a really excellent book. I'm really pleased with the quality. Definitely um, going to be used again. Um, I think I wouldn't go for the acrylic cover, in all honesty. I think it's overkill for my use. Unless I was doing a wedding album, in which case then I would certainly use it. I think it gives that pop. And if I was doing that, um, they also offer a range of things like wooden boxes that you can, you can buy as add-ons to just give that whole professional feeling. Overall though I'm really pleased with the service. I think they've done a fantastic job of dealing with difficult colours um, from stage lighting and in general the pages have a real pop. The only area where there isn't a pop and that was my choice because I chose the matte paper is black and white images which haven't got that depth that you get from a glossy page. However, they're not showing the fingerprints like you do with a glossy page. But overall, really excellent service, 
really professional. Um, can't recommend them highly enough.